Hey guys, this jack on my mowing trailer has kind of been on the fritz for a little while. I could tell it was getting ready to uh, go out on me. So before it completely fails and I'm stuck having to use a high lift jack, I went ahead and picked up a, a new Bulldog 7,000 pound uh, tongue mount jack. And I'm going to go ahead and replace that right now. Get this taken off and new one put on. It's really not a big deal. It's pretty easy to do. But if you haven't done it before, this might be just the thing you need to see before you do. So let's get this thing on. Okay, so these are a half inch. So I've got my half inch socket ready. I'm going to go ahead and take this foot off. <laughs> wow. So, it's kind of hard to tell, but down inside that foot, or base plate, whatever you want to call it, that's grease. But in that grease, a bunch of uh, metal filings where the, uh, the gears and the teeth inside the jack are literally deteriorating. I knew it, I knew it felt pretty rough kind of like a grinding feeling going up and down. Uh, didn't realize why, other than that it was about wore out. It's the same thing I experienced on my other trailer. And uh, anyways, now I know why. It was literally falling apart in there. The reason that I went with the Bulldog, uh, my local farm store, which is where I get my, my jacks at, they have Bulldog and they have another brand. I don't remember what the other brand is, but I tried that brand and I ended up taking it back. Um, it wasn't very smooth, it was kind of hard to operate, and uh, as much as I hook and unhook trailers, I wanted something that was smooth and easy. You know, the jack's supposed to do the work for you, so that's why I'm going with that brand. These bolts are just threaded into this plate. This is about a, a quarter inch thick plate and they're just threaded right into it so you don't have a, a nut or anything like that to worry about. That simple, that jacks off. And a new jack on. So the bottom of this pipe right here is just ever so slightly flared out. And it's just enough that it won't fit through there. So I'm gonna go take this to the file, take a file to this real quick. And shave that down just a little bit. All right, I used my 2x72 belt sander and just cleaned that up real quick. Took that little flare off. Should go right in now. All right. That was definitely a snug fit. Now all we've got to do is put the bolts back in, so I'm going to run them all in finger tight before I tighten them down.
Okay, so those bolts need to be tight, but they don't have to be torqued down. Pretty simple, pretty basic, other than having to tap that thing in and clean some of the paint off. Not sure why that bottom hole was so tight. I guess just a slightly thicker gauge of pipe on this new jack. But uh, anyway, it's in there and ready for use. So thanks for watching, guys.